Welcome back viewers to another episode of The Legacy of Skunderbeg. Gotta say, things are looking pretty grim. We've lost all allies and Austria, our former ally, wants our land. Hungary is willing to be our ally but we can't be allies and the problem is if the political climate changes between now and 1477, which is when we are allowed to ally again, he might not want to be our ally anymore. I already spent a chunk of money just to get a royal marriage with him. That may have been a waste of money. And I really hope it isn't, but it might very well be. We have a huge number of loans. Well, only four loans, which isn't that much all things considered, but it's still pretty bad. Okay, let's get his army though. I have a plan. Let's get his army down here to Bosnia. My plan is this. Ragusa, the truth of Bosnia is about to expire in July 1473. That's in a year and a bit of time. So I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to take advantage of that by transferring the entire army down here. And, yep. And here's my plan. Uh, what about Ottomans? My plan is to attack Bosnia. And I'm going to vassalize them. And I'm going to do it in such a way that Ragusa will be attacking Bosnia at the same time. What that means is uh, I'll be allowed to take over in the war and then I'll be fighting Ragusa by themselves with no Ottoman or any other intervention. So that'll be good. I'm a free diplomat. Let's actually have a look. Can we get any allies whatsoever? We can. Sayena and Florence. Not bad ideas actually. I'm going to take both. Sayena, you're mine. Uh, whatever. Ottoman's getting stronger. You're mine now as well, Florence. By my, I mean you're my ally. <laughs> Not actually mine. That'd be great though. Man, this is really tedious. I'm gonna build more ships if I can as well. Let's build a cog. I can't afford it. It costs 12 ducats. Probably because of inflation. Uh, this free diplomat. Let's go improve people, like say, Bohemia. Also, let's set. Okay, we are through by Austria. Good. Let's make sure that we have set that. And let's wait for these troops to get here. We've got a whole year to do it. Papal State is a repeat of Provence. Papal State took Provence. Good job, Papal State. Cavalry Companions, Albania. Army is away to glory. Gain 5 prestige. Okay. Now, our glorious leader, Skunderbeg, is getting really old. I'm surprised he's still alive. But pro that is problematic though, because when he dies, we're going to lose our guard general, which is our biggest advantage. Plus the fact we get extra morale of armies for being an inspiring leader. And improved relations is also really helpful as well, so a lot of bad things are going to happen when he dies. Land theft. This is not good. This is really not good. I think I have to make nobility lose influence, but they're going to lose loyalty. Clergy gaining... Loyalty is also... Well, they get influence, which I guess is fine, I suppose? Yeah, okay. Wait, Venetia will come under control of clergy. No, 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 I'm not giving that to you. Venetia is going to the burghers. I completely forgot to do that. Also, when's the coring done here? Very soon. Flames from care by Naples, okay. Whatever. Naples can't attack me. Not really. Okay, Zetter is called. Let's turn this province here into a state because this province contains Kosovo, which is a gold mine. Uh, I'm going to call all of these. And can I assign them to any of these estates? Say the clergy. Make the clergy happy. And let's make the nobility happy. And let's make the clergy even happier. Sounds good. Now we have happy estates again. Isn't that just grand? Unfortunately, we can't really get anything off them. I would love to get a general off you, but... <sighs> oh well, let's just call it Diet and the Marmalade support. That may have been a little hasty. Oh well, what's the next military tech? Seven years. Okay, that case is grab military idea. Glorious arms. I'm still waiting for my troops to be transported over as they're taking their sweet ass time. Boston not got a bad rival. That's unfortunate. I don't really want to rival anyone else here. Maybe Ferraro if I'm allowed to. 
Nope, not allowed. Oh well. We're gonna raise army maintenance. We're gonna go to war next month. Uh, not next month, but some point next year. Gansi Kermuk, sent a peace with Great Horde. Lost human rival against Bosnia. I am gonna fabricate a claim here though. Uh, you come back. And let's have, have a quick look. Who else might be willing to be our ally? Oh, of course you... Okay. Hungary wouldn't. Oh yeah, of course Hungary wouldn't, because Hungary can't. Those Venetian rebels going to rise up soon. We can build two more troops. They're going to rise up and advance itself. Huh. I wonder... What if I lower autonomy to make them rise up faster and then I fight them first, then I come back for Bosnia? The problem with that is that it takes freaking forever. I mean, that took more than half a year to get all these troops back. It's gonna take that just as long to get my troops back over this way. Uh, problematic. Okay, how about this? We'll declare war on Bosnia now. I'll get this war over and done with as quickly as possible, and then I will show my troops back to deal the rebels. Uh, I forgot to turn the fort on. Whoops. That's okay. Slow the game down. Scan the bag. Lead us to victory. Great horse of the peace. I'm going to start improving relations with people in this area. Oh wow, minus 93. <laughs> That's insane. Let's... Say let's improve Genoa. Because I know I'm going to get a lot of aggressive expansion for doing what I'm about to do. Go kill him in Ruska. I don't have much morale, but I don't need much morale to kill you. Okay. Four of you. Go here. Uh, two of you. Go here. Two of you. Go here. Rest of you. I want you to make your way back. To Treviso, so go to Dalmatia. Ottomans has embraced Renaissance. Good for you. Oh, they managed to train up a troop. Of course you did. Of course you did. 80% still. Okay, let's start getting troops back here to deal with the rebellion. Once the rebellion's dealt with, uh, and we also make sure Ragusa declares. The next subjects has expired. It's actually helpful for gay alliances. In fact, let's have a quick look at potential alliances now. Hungary is still so very close. I could grab Savoy. Savoy does have two uh, cores here on Milan. Man, Milan really had it easy with all these three provinces returning to them via rebel. Man, Milan is so lucky. <laughs> I mean, maybe what I should have done there was try to help kill those rebels, but I couldn't have. It was 20,000. I didn't have a 20,000 uh, army to deal with them. It's unfortunate. Because Milan is really big, and they don't want to be my friend. <laughs> That's scary. A big Milan, I don't like. I've been in occupied Bosnia. Okay, cool. Now I'll get these troops back. Still 80. 9% now, okay, they're gonna fire very soon. And putting iron. Ooh. Normally I always take a mechanism here, but Hungary's opinion of me changed by plus 20. That will go a long way to uh, gain them to be my ally in five years' time. I mean, that's, ex that's going down by how much exactly? Wait, it did go up, right? Uh. Did that event even work? Also, why is Hungary desiring that here as well? The hell? Okay, but the uh, Venetian rebels have risen up. That's to be expected. I'm going to turn a fall on here so I don't get any penalties for those rebels winning. Uh, I might... Okay, so see if I can build two more troops as well. Because I do have two more force limits. Let's build two more troops here. And when they teleport over to Treviso, or, well, we'll see. If they try to cross the strait, they'll probably fail. So the only way this is really going to work is if they teleport. 
So if they teleport, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll just look at what they do. If they teleport, we'll kill them if they teleport, if they uh, walk across the strait. Well, they'll probably fail because we're blockading the strait. Uh, in fact, we'll get this guy to come over here as well. Do I have any spear transports? I should have spear transports by now, right? I thought I was bringing a transport, or I'm mistaken. I may be mistaken. I am mistaken. I don't have any transports. This is the one. This could be a hard fight if they decide to teleport over. I can only hope they try across the strait and fail over and over, so it gives me time to build my army strength. Uh, you go there. State appointed lay members. Okay, so Orthodox. Orthodox Christianity has these events, which gives you two choices. Either gain Patriarch Authority, which is this thing here, this bar, or lose Patriarch Authority in favor of something else. Uh, so, uh, yeah, most of the events are like that. Some of them are slightly different, but for the most part, they're like this. So, what I'm going to do is gain Patriarch Authority, and every single book of Patriarch Authority increases my, ma my mystery strength slightly, and uh, gives me lower unrest and higher manpower modifier to orthodox provinces, which is kind of nice. It's, it's not bad, you know, it's not bad. We are losing money though, so that part's no bad. Okay, they're teleporting to Trevisio. Okay, we're gonna have 13k. Uh, we have 13k of Scanderbeg in charge, probably 14k, 17th of June, 14th of July. Yep, so we're gonna have an extra uh, unit being constructed there. I kind of want to keep these three here, but maybe it's a good idea to take these two and have them head over that way. Reinforcements, you know. Hopefully one can make it. 14th, 13th, yeah, okay. Let's see now. We should win this fight, I think, because Scalabank's in charge. Ooh, things aren't going so well. They're getting really good rolls here. Come on, 9 versus a 3, that's better. We did take some serious losses though. We're gonna win, but those are some crazy ass losses. Ouch, we lost 6k. Largely because we were, we were outnumbered, I think. Still, we won the fight. So let's reduce maintenance back down. Turn the fort off, okay, ready to turn the fort off. Let's send the troops back over here again. This could take a while. We currently have no money whatsoever. We still have four loans. I'm going to get some money off the Bosnians once we win the war. So it might take a while. Also, Ragusa still has to declare... Okay, there we go. Ragusa has to declare war now. That's good. Ragusa want to help me siege? That'd be appreciated. Venice. Trailing of Venice has been disbanded. Okay, good. Scanderbag, I'm going to unappoint you for now. Hopefully we still have a big enough army uh, to take them down. Uh, I probably should raise maintenance though. Oh my god, that's expensive. Okay, I'm going to bring someone back. Uh, bring you back from Bohemia. Uh, okay, that siege is over. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just cringing at the more loans part. England, let's have a of France, okay. Genoa, okay, come back home. Um, gonna improve with papacy, because we may as well try. Okay, so, Ragusa, not Ragusa. Bosnia, if I were to vassalize you, no one really cares. Give me 99 ducats, not bad. And rivalry gives me prestige, and that's about it. Force religion, that could actually be helpful. Makes them easier to integrate later, and the land will all become orthodox because they'll convert it. Is that it? That's pretty much it, that's all I can ask from you. Okay, so before I do that, I need my army together. So I have 6k, uh, just like 8k. Okay, I've paid more than enough to take care of Ragusa. You just find Ragusa, right? Just Ragusa, cool. Agricultural Revolution. 
gain base tax, uh, manpower, or production in Treviso. I think... More manpower sounds good. Because I could definitely do it with more people, more men to fight. Losing ducks like crazy. Oh well, France to Cal Burgundy. Okay, our army's almost together. Let's have head to Bosnia, and what I'm expecting is they'll head to the Soki the moment I finish, uh, the moment I vassalize them, and I'll attack them with the Soki as hills with a fort. Let's merge you guys up. A point, Skanderbeg. Okay, let's do this. My vassal, force religion, all your ducats, slow the game down. Anything else? Nope, nope, nope. Send demand. My fort's still off, that's fine. If anything, I'll attempt them. We are now in control in the war against Ragusa. That's fine. Wait for them to get locked. Come on. Okay, cool. Let's kill them. Let's kill the regiments. I can actually call an allies. Do I want to? I don't believe any of them have interest in Ragusa land. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, let's call... No, I want all their money. So no. Let's not call an allies. Well, then again, if I call an allies, what I could then do... No, let's not call an allies. I want all their money. Yeah, eat Skunderbag. <laughs> I'm a freedom format. Now, before we continue, wow, that was a stack wipe too. If I were to take Ragusa from you, wow, what was this province called? Dubrovnik. Du Dubrovnik. The point is, if we take this province from you, these people will be upset, okay? Uh, Corfu will drop off quickly enough. Saw Mantua, saw Ferrara, but I may sure improve them anyway. Urbino might take a while, so I should improve Urbino. Table state. Okay, so I'm going to improve with Ferrara. Yeah, let's improve Ferrara. Let's improve Ferrara. I'm going to sod this for a while. Uh, you go here. Uh, first, let's unpoint Skanderbeg so he doesn't die. One, two, three, four, five. You guys go see the capital. Uh, as for the rest of you, split up. One of you goes there, other one goes there. Cool. This is where you get Ragusa for trying to jump on, you know, my conquests. I mean, I can't plan for it. The fortress under siege, yep. I mean, if I was Ragusa, I probably would have done that as well. Probably. And I guess it's turn maintenance back down to low. <laughs> Making 104 ducats a month. I wish. Can we actually ask for money? We can. 37 ducats for the burgers. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds great. Let's repay some loans. We have five loans. One. Two. Three loans repaid. Only two loans left. And I guess speed the game up. Cool, cool, cool. Austria, stay the hell away from me, okay? Don't you dare attack me for Venetia. Three more years we can actually mature the clear menace. Of course you did. Okay, why don't you want to be my ally? I'm at war, sure. Army strength is weak, okay. Not same religion. Yeah, like I said, I think it was a really dumb idea converting to orthodoxy. When I have no allies, or no one I could ally straight away. No one big. Anyway. Uh, that's almost maxed out. That's not good. We can't get the next Ammon tech for a while. That's also not good. Ultimate declare on Naxos. Okay. Naxos. It's you guys. Allied with Naples, okay. Rival of a threat. Make Austria not hate me. <sighs> I wish. Can I make myself threatened? I could. I could make myself threatened by Hungary. Who would that help? Bohemia. We'll make it easier to uh, get Bohemia as an ally. 
But Bohemian right now has too many diplomatic relations. Minus 50. Yeah, I suppose they do. I suppose. Oh, we've maxed it out already. Let's go and buy some mercantilism. Buy three times. I mean, I could develop, I suppose. I could develop Manette here up. Oh. Be on Manette here. Speaking of Manette here. That is definitely an anomaly. Uh, you. Go here. Oh shit. Is it because. Oh, I know. I think I know why. It's because I'm being blockaded. Okay, I will call my allies. Call to arms. Call to arms. Send your fleets here. Help me take care of the stupid ships. Thanks. Helps a lot. But yeah, my participation has gone way down because of that. Which is a shame. But doesn't mean get some army uh, over to Netia itself. Bramber to kill Pomerania, okay. I guess the good news as well is that it gives me less war exhaustion because they were blockading me before. Like that builds up. I'm going to occupy Venetia, awesome. That should help my money situation. Last jousting tournament. We can feel in the wind. Soon our equestrian elite will be nothing more than a dream, remembered as the chivalrous tradition dies out before the onslaught of modernity. The world is changing, but for now, for one last time, let the Knights of Albania ride. This is a fascinating event because I think only fires once, and always fires I think before 1500. Forward to glory. Lose admin, lose ducats, lose splendor. I don't really want to lose splendor. How much am I earning per month anyway? Five a month, so that's six months of splendor. But Morale of Armies plus 10 till 1495, not bad. Yeah, the Army Tradition, pretty good. Yeah, Prestige, not bad. Or I can just lose Prestige. Four to glory. Okay. And I could believe why I should have done deal was weighted over here. I, I may have been a little hasty in um, vassalizing Bosnia because if I waited a little longer, what I could have done was grab this. Justify wars for 10% less aggressive expansion. Oh well, uh, that's max our relationship with Ferrara. Theodoro declared on Crimea. Okay, because they're already defending against Muscovy. Fair enough. Uh, let's improve with someone else now. Who is now our ally? Genoa, perhaps? No, Genoa really doesn't mind us. Let's actually check. For where you were to PCR right now, Naples, Venice, and Ragusa can't be helped, but. Bosnia is relevant as Urbino, Papal State, and Mantua. We are already improving with Papal State, so let's improve with Urbino and Mantua. So Urbino, stick a guy on you. And we'll just sit on Ragusa for a while. No hurry. Well, unless Ottomans attack us, of course. In which case, all the hurry in the world. Okay, Siege of the Capital is over. More ship combat. Which unfortunately reduced my participation even further. Kind of annoys me. Oh well, that's okay. We can pick up new tech. Three years ahead of time, no thanks. Yes, three years ahead of time as well. We have, ooh, okay, slow down game. Slow crisis. Production efficiency, minus 10%. Sucks, but whatever. Uh, okay. Duke of Burgundy dies. Oh my god, Austria is now super strong. They tell us off. Duke of Burgundy dies. The great Duke Charles I and his closest followers have tragically been killed. In an effort to win the current war, the Duke personally led his troops into battle, valiantly ch charging his enemies. His naked and disfigured body was later found in a ditch, his head having been cleft in two. The death of the last de Bourgeonnais, Duke of Burgundy, has plunged the country into internal turmoil and left it vulnerable to intervention from powerful neighbours. So, yeah, Austria now owns all of the Netherlands, except Brabant, who I guess broke free earlier. And they also own this and this. And France got the rest. Huh. Austria? 
You are super strong now. Stay away from me. <laughs> Austrians are considered a great power. They might declare Novgorod. Oh, Ragusa. I believe they're my rival as well, so I could humiliate them. Do I even need to? I don't actually need to humiliate anybody, but I could if I wanted to. Choose to kill on Man, great expansion here really is hell. I don't have to be like rush through everything, but it certainly helps to uh, try to grab more land as quickly as possible. Okay, just five wars. That's going to help as well. Speed up a little more. Choose Sweden is over. Denmark, Norway, don't care. Uh, we'll stop improving the payable state because it's maxed out. Okay, is that enough though? Yes, it's enough. All that's left is Urbino. And I also may as well improve Manchua as well. Yeah, let's improve Manchua. I need to get out of frickin' Europe. This aggressive expansion is driving me nuts. Livonia order declare on Novgorod. Opportunistic bastards, huh? Fair enough. In fact, Muscovy, why haven't you declared on Novgorod since? Disappointing. Oh, wow, they're my rival. Never mind. That's not going to help, is it? In fact, if we wait till the end of the year, do I even need to improve Rubino? Probably. Rubino. Only plus 2.4 yearly. Only, I say. So that leaves Ragusa, who can't actually join a coalition, Venice, who can't join a coalition, Naples, who's currently in a war, but will be more than happy to join a coalition. Bosnia can't, so it's really just Urbino, Venice, and Ragusa. And by the time Ragusa can join the coalition, I can probably actually full annex Ragusa if I wanted to. That will remove Ragusa out of the equation altogether, leaving Urbino, Corfu, Mantua. I might just annex them completely. That's a good idea. I'm not going to wait. I need to get stronger. So Corfu, I'm going to improve with you. And that's going to be the plan for now. Monsters have a piece of Galray. We're going to keep sitting on uh, Ragusa for now. Utrecht has a piece of Galray. We've lost a claim on Verona. Don't care. Naples has a piece of Ottomans. Naples will give Ottomans lots of money. Because of course you will. Um... Austria? Was that necessary? Uh... Well... That's... a thing. That is indeed a thing. Hmm. Hungary? You did kind of call, didn't you? You want Venetia, because of course you do, Austria. I mean, Bosnia is my vassal, Florence and Saina are in this war. 21,000 from Florence, 13,000 from Saina. Austria is fielding 46,000 infantry. We still have Skanderbeg, but he is an old, old man at age 71. When he dies, I'm not going to have a god general anymore. If we can combine our forces, we can do this, but it's going to be really hard to combine our forces easily. And to further complicate problems, we have a truce with the Ottomans until May 1479. That's only two and a half years away. And if the Ottomans are even slightly intelligent, the Ottomans are going to attack me. Oh man. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. 
I can't walk through Hungary, which may be for the best. I can have my army head over to Rwanda. Where is their fleet? I don't think they even have a fleet. Unfortunately for me, my capital is in Treviso in South Venetia, so unlike the Venetians, I kind of sit on my capital uh, for 10 years and just laugh at them. That's unfortunate. Okay, I'm going to try to get my army over to Italy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow, what a mess. What the hell's with all these Ottomans? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Please leave. Stay the hell away from us. Where are my allies gone? That's Saida's army. That's Florence's army. Okay. Look. Attach to me. Please. Oh god. 48,000. Uh, oh no! It's gonna beg, at all with all haste, go. Uh, it's, not, it's not, not gonna be enough. Uh, I need my allies to stick together. Oh no! Oh no! I mean, the good news is, there's no way they're going to get to Venetia itself. That part is pretty much impossible. They have a fleet here. But my allies have a fleet here as well. But like I said, there's no way they can get to Venetia itself unless they can get rid of all my allies. Which they might, given enough time. If they're smart, they will. What to even do here? Why Austria? Why? Why do this? We were friends, goddammit! <laughs> Frickin' helped you in this stupid war against Denmark! You're a terrible emperor, you know that? Okay, Austria. Eat Scunderbag. Ottomans become Mamluks. Damn, I wish I could take a bunch of that. Get lost. Okay, Scunderbag. You had better not die. I need you. I need you so badly for this war. This is far more scary than the Ottomans because if this war fails, oh, the Ottomans are going to come down our asses and take all that we have worked for. Oh, man. Why do you do this, Austria? Just why? I'm. I could go severely into debt just to win this war. Because we actually do have a chance here. Things aren't as grim as they first seem. Assuming Sainia is an idiot. Uh... Let's move his army to Ferrara. Very up. Killed as one stack. You'll leave on the 8th, I'll get on the 10th. You are heading to Treviso on the 10th. Okay, let's go kill them. I'm under attack. Okay, it's another stack wipe. Come out to Treviso. Come over here. Oh shit. That came out of nowhere. Can we have to kill a 30k stack? Somehow. It's 
Somehow. S somehow, damn it. Okay, Venice is probably the safest stage of ground here. Verona is. I think we're stuck fighting in Verona right now. We don't have a choice. We have 24k. They're gonna reinforce. Saida might make it in time to help reinforce us. We are numbered. We have Skunderbag. They'll take a river crossing. We might be able to win this. But that'll be for next time. It's almost 40 minutes. Holy shit. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you next time for more of the legacy of Skunderbag. Until then, see you later.